Hey everyone, this is Noah SD, um, making my second math video for Poker Savvy. Uh, this one's about uh, preflop shoving ranges. Um, and so I'm going to start out at three blinds and work my way all the way up to 200 blinds and then notice a general pattern, um, basically. So yeah, I mean, I, obviously if you play cash games, you're not really that interested in how to play with three big blinds. Um, but I think that the... Uh, the the pattern that I'm going to notice, um, and just the, the general math behind play with like three blinds and four blinds and ten blinds and and all the different things I'm going to do, um, is really important for for all people who play no limit hold'em. So I really suggest that if you don't feel that comfortable with how stack sizes should affect your free, preflop play, I really suggest that you watch this entire video. Um, <laughs> And I think the result that I'm going to get is pretty cool, um, and to my knowledge, I'm, I'm really the first one to point it out. Um, yeah, and it, um, if you uh, if you really don't want to watch me do math on three blind poker, um, you can go ahead and skip ahead to when I get deeper. Um, if you really don't want to watch me do math at all, and you just want to see what conclusions I come to, um, you can check out the. Uh, the slides with a big red dot at the top right corner here. Um, those slides are, are slides with conclusions and, and, and no math. Um, cool, so let me go on. Um, here's the very basic idea behind preflop shove math. Um, there's one formula that applies to, to all preflop shoves. It's basically just the semi-bluff formula. Um, so here's, here's my key to clarify what this formula means. So here you have the percent time that um, your opponent folds times the amount that you win when your opponent folds. So obviously when your opponent folds, you, you will win um, the amount of the pot size before your shove. Um, time, And then here you have uh, the percent chance that you get called times uh, your average net gain when called. So your average net gain when called is obviously um, your equity times the pot size when called minus the amount that a shove costs you. Um, make sure you have a really clear understanding of what these variables mean. Um, there are, uh, you know, there are, there are similar concepts that that might sound like they're the same. Um, I worded all of these things correctly. Make sure you understand. For example, your shove size is not your initial stack size. Um, it's the amount left in your stack before a shove. So if we're talking about like like four betting and you raise the three blinds and you're considering four betting with a thirty blind stack total. Um, the 4-bet costs you 27 blinds. It does not cost you 30 blinds.